Sincere communication is I'm at least trying to play by grammar rules so you can follow. I'm not trying to intentionally try to wear down your mind so you have to use a bunch of mental energy just to keep up. And then even when you keep up, I say you're wrong and just fuck with you. That's not the, the unspoken rules of communication. That's just, that's just being an asshole. Or it's just attacking just... communication itself. Like, throwing rocks. Uh, throwing rocks. Because throwing yes. rocks at people is fun because they say ouch. And, <laughs> and you can you know, throw another one they say ouch. And seeing other people cry in pain saying ouch is like a perverse joy that kids have. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll upgrade and start throwing you know, darts or something and they'll go, oh wow, this is even better. I saw blood. <laughs> Let me start throwing knives and shit. <laughs> and they say, oh, I don't feel any pain because that's part of pain. When you feel it, it hurts. When you see somebody else feel it, you don't feel it. <laughs> that's kind of cool about pain. So you can pelt someone with tons of rocks. They cry in pain and there's bruises and you don't feel a thing. Then when they're pelted with the rocks and they get angry at you, you could genuinely say, it's not fair. I, I didn't feel your pain. I don't, I don't understand why you're angry at me. Oh, even better. I don't feel it, so you shouldn't be feeling it. Yeah, that's even worse. I'll divorce you. I'll or give you a double bind. It, it doesn't even me. exist. You misread me. the rock. Hmm. It was the person I'm hiding behind that was throwing the rock. So people talk in fragments and we chase. And when we chase, that's called trauma bonding. That's called love. That's called attachment. It's the only way to attach. Chasing, never getting. That is love, yearning for fantasy and chasing and chasing, <laughs> giving up your heart in advance and never getting, because if you got it, there'd be no chase. So the pitch, not only do you go after context, you learn how to change context. Because <laughs> no one's messing in the context, everyone's trying to argue which fragment is true. Why would you waste your time with that? That favors the thought disorder idiot. That favors clueless baby that believes the fragment of reality is true. And of course they can act like an idiot and go with it fully because they're fucking stupid thought disorder idiot. They're operating out of their ignorance of a fragment of reading shit. They don't have a sounding board to actually talk to other people to check their perspectives. In fact, they'll just gaslight other people with their fragment of whatever, add a bunch of story to try to get other people to join this fragmented nonsense time wasting war on shit. Because yeah. they've disconnected from their savage baby and they don't enjoy a good fight. They can only fight like from the shadows and from behind shit and just complain yeah. and whine about how much pain they're in. Yeah. Yeah, this is coming across as too mean. You need someone to soften you. 